MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. I'm with Trevor from 600 UK. I've travelled back here today to look at a new machine, which is the Easy Turn. This was launched at their open house in June, and if you're interested in new machines and new concepts, you should carry on watching this video because this will be an education, and that's where this machine fits. Absolutely right, Paul. This machine is going to be aimed at education only, nothing else at this moment in time, unless distributors or industry would like to look at it. It's solely for the education area only. And why is that, and what is it? We've looked at what we have on the market at the moment, Paul. Obviously full-blown CNC's, semi-automatics, but there was nothing bridging the gap between a semi-automatic and a conventional lathe. But you have the 1400 series, let's say for example, of the, the Harrison machine. So what, what is different? Because I would have thought that was bridging the gap. We needed something even more simpler than the Alpha system, our own Harrison Alpha system. So what we have here is a lathe, CNC, semi-automatic lathe, which doesn't have all the complications of two nose radius compensation, geometry offsets, wear offsets, any tool library. It's very, very simple, and it's basically taking it down to that level. Okay, and the, the size of the machine then, it, do, does it come in various sizes, or is it just this one model that we've got here? At this moment, we just have this model here, which is a one meter bed. Um, again, like I said earlier, if industry would like to look at this machine, we will then look at making the sizes bigger. But you do have a touch screen control, so we, we talked about the Alpha system. With this being a touch screen control, you said the things that you can't do, but what can you do? <laughs> it will do stops and tapers, um, drilling, threading, internal tapers, internal stops, grooving. The way I should put it really is, it can only use one tool. Every tool for every operation will be called tool one. There's no tool library, so it doesn't remember any geometry offsets or anything. Okay, so we're looking at very, very simple turning operations, turning diameters, drilling, boring, and stuff like that, can all be controlled using the touchscreen control there. And how easy is it to pick up? How quickly could a student come along and be using this machine? Very, very quickly on this one. Picking it up, students should have no problems. Maybe half a day, less. On, on using this control. As compared to how long if they were looking at learning the alpha control on a, a, a little bit more of a complex machine? The alpha control can be learned um, in, in half a day, um, but there's a bit more into the alpha system with, with the use of tool offsets, wear offsets, tool knows where this competition. Which this obviously hasn't got. Control wise on the hardware, so this is going away from again from the old metal handles. Talk us through these little features you've got here and how the machine is controlled. Basically, just like the alpha, we have an X manual pulse generator, cycle start, a Z manual pulse generator, a rapid joystick, potentiometer, which speeds the spindle and slows the spindle down, and the feed rate override, emergency stop, and start stop handle. And we can see, we see all the time, a lot of investment in, uh, in the educational arena universities. I can imagine going into universities and actually seeing lines of these machines. So I'm sure you'll have a lot of success. During my apprenticeship days, it would have been a good machine to take me from that conventional element up to potentially CNC. So, yeah, I think it's going to be popular. Thanks for your time, Trevor. Thanks very much, Paul. Thank you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.